Hello, Nomad Cult, and this video is about how to project a texture on a spherical mesh, like an egg or a sphere. Okay, so yeah, I have to explain a few things, but I'm really no professional <laughs> um, UV guy. Oh, okay, so this is a default sphere. And here, here's the inspector, um, and this is a UV map of a sphere. And it's a UV map like a box. So this here is a box or a cube, and it's the same UV map. So, and the egg here has also the same map. And this here has a square map. So this is a, a different object here. And also this here is a lace object here. It's a lace. And it also has such a flat um, square map. Okay. So we have to understand what happens. So um, I use now this sphere. Um, first I use the other thing. I use the box here. So, we need the tri planner. And I'm choosing this here, and I'm choosing a black color. And I show the tri planner preview. And sorry, I own the wrong tool. I have to use this tool. Sorry. It's only for um, to explain it. Um, preview. So you see here, the texture is projected from the top and from this side and from this side. So Tri Planner projects like like this here. So the texture is projected from planes in, in the green direction, in the red direction and in the blue direction. On the sphere, you see here such a uh, yeah, area where the texture is projected. So, and you have to understand that um, the, the, the sphere is in reality a box so when you use here multi-resolution and you subdivide your your mesh then you see here your box becomes a sphere so and when you preview now the the texture on this sphere you see here this this couldn't work so on a sphere, a tri planner texture doesn't work. So I subdivide it a few times more. And you see here's a problem. And um, I can change here the scaling a little bit. So like this. And you see here on the seams are always problems. So there's a hardness slider. You can try to um, yeah, fade it out a little bit, but in fact it couldn't work. So here you you see the the tri planner um, projects from the top, from the side, and yeah, like this. Okay. So. And this is here the box. Okay, the same as this thing here. So I delete this and the box we don't need. So, and this is the same here when I, um, you see here on the mesh, the, the edges of the box, so it doesn't work. Um, and so when I validate this and multi-resolution, I, I try to reverse. 
could not create base. Okay, so it doesn't work for this thing. Um, I delete this. Oh, I was on the wrong mesh. Maybe here it works. So let's go back and reverse it, reverse it, reverse it, reverse it. So, and here is your box. So, tri planner doesn't work. Okay. So, the next thing is um, I add now a UV map, uh, not, not a UV map, um, a UV sphere. A UV sphere looks different. So, here it's like a um, yeah, a, a like a cleaner mesh for the sphere, and when you project here uh, the tri planner, it it also doesn't work. Um, where's my tri planner projection? I think I have to validate it. So because it tries to project it like on a box, on a cube. So it doesn't work. Okay, so for this you need texture maps. So I open here the texture and I'm closing here the preview. So So this UV sphere, here you get a seamless pattern. But um, you see here, there's a stretching or a, it's compressed here, like um, uh, like on the earth. So the, <laughs> yeah, it looks like this. So in fact, you need um, a UV sphere. Or you can also use such a, a lathe object and for the lace, it's also possible to use such a sorry, I don't need photos. I need the files. So maybe um, six. Okay. So here you get your pattern. And when you... So I validated this one, I think. Yeah, it's validated. So I add a new lace object. So So you see the UV map works for the lace object and you get here um, a seamless pattern here for this. And you see a problem here for the lace object. This is uh, the, um, the caps here. And when you deselect the caps, then the, the texture changes. So you see here like this. And this is with a cap on the bottom. And this is cap on the top. And without caps, it works. So, like this. Okay, and how to get the texture here on such a lathe object? So, it works like this. First, I validate the object. And then here, we don't need the, the texture on the um, uh, color slot. 
So we need the texture on the opacity slot here, this slot. Yeah. And then I import my seamless texture. It looks like this here. And then I need more topology. You see here the, um, the wireframe of this. This is, uh, we need much more topology. So I'm using here multi-resolution and I subdivide the mesh um, up to maybe a million. So we need a lot of uh, poly count. Okay, so, and now in the MISC menu, you find here a uh, option to reproject here and here is an option here opacity to mask so use this checkbox here and reproject um, so I hide the other meshes so and here you can reproject from itself so it it reprojects the opacity to a mask. Reproject. So. And this opacity mask we don't need anymore. So now we have our mask on this object. And here in the operations menu, it's now possible to uh, use the uh, inflate thing. So here you can create your texture or your offset. And the other thing is here when you want to close the top and the bottom, you find here in the MISC menu the option to close the holes. So press here and um, then your multi-resolution will be lost um, but in fact you have to uh, remesh the whole thing for printing or something so now the holes are closed and then inflate your texture like this okay so Now we can clear the mask. Clear. So it looks like this. Fine. And yeah. So we can turn on the wireframe. So it's a very dense mesh. So we have 1.4 million vertices. So here you see on the mesh stretching. So the best thing is here to use voxel remesh and try to remesh the whole mesh again. So I hope it works. So this is a remeshed thing and so now I'm using smooth shading off and now let's let's decimate the whole thing. So settings are preserve painting. We have no painting at the moment so we preserve only the geometry and so I decimate the whole thing. So I turn on the wireframe. And let's press a few times decimate. So now I turn the wireframe off. And so if you want to print it, this is a thing um, you want to see. So 
I think we go one step back. I go So this is before, so here maybe we try to use a smoothing slider here. A little bit more. So now it's smooth. So I think that this works better for decimation. So let's do it again. So let's turn wireframe off. So now the poly count is 70. 77,000 so yeah it looks okay yeah okay so I hope it helps a little bit and that's it for this video and have fun sculpting ciao